Hey guys, it's Monday morning, and here's what we got going on. We keep waiting for dry dirt. We're trying to get our corn planted, and we just can't get it in because every time we get a field finished, the next field we want to go to is too wet. So we've only got 800 acres of corn in so far, so what we did was, this morning we actually switched the planter over to beans, and we want to go plant some soybeans because we've got fields that are going into soybeans that are dry enough to plant, or so we thought. So we uh, dug the one field last night, or we tilled it, got it ready to go, and then we actually got a little bit of rain this morning, so it's, it's kind of wet on top. It's not going to work well with the planter. The gauge wheels are going to stick and pack up with mud. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the planter sit here, and hopefully the sun will come out eventually. It's humid, there's no wind, so things just aren't drying very quickly. So the planter's going to sit there, and I'm going to take the rock picker over to that field because that field has a lot of big rocks, and I'm going to see what I can find. This is not too complicated of a machine. It's all hydraulic. This one does have the swinging hitch so that we can control that from in the cab to move the rock picker in and out so we can travel down roads and make it narrower. That's really, really nice. But basically, this is the reel we call it and we call that the basket. So we can drop the basket down kind of nice and deep like, try to get underneath the rock if it's sitting low down into the ground. And we come by, we drop that basket down and then we uh, spin this reel, hydraulic reel. It's got a hydraulic motor with a chain drive there. And uh, you can see the big chain, the sprocket, that's the motor there. And look at that, I got a rock underneath that motor. That was easy. Anyway, the reel spins around driven by that motor and that chain. It spins around, flips the rock up inside there, inside here, inside the machine. And uh, once we get full like this, we back into usually the fence line, the property line, the edge of the field somewhere, and we dump these rocks off here. You can see this cute little guy. Uh, we did not get this thing here with that machine. I don't know how easy it is to tell how large this is or not, but I'm six foot three. That is a big rock. So you guys have seen this thing work. It's a pretty simple concept, but the big question for everybody is, how do you get it empty? Well. You just back into wherever you want to dump the rocks and it's really, really simple. You use the same hydraulic that's used to push the uh, basket down. You hold that and eventually it ends up lifting up the whole entire machine. So why don't I just show you.
got this field picked over pretty well and uh, I can see more rain out to our west headed this way. We never got any hard rain but this uh, topsoil you can see it's picking up on the tires just a little bit. It's just a little bit too moist out here for me to be driving around so I'm gonna go ahead and get off this field and hopefully this thing will be ready to plant tomorrow sometime. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram as well. Millennial Farmer, out. It just never seems to stop this year.